Hey everybody, big welcome back, and here we are for another very popular on my channel uh, dirt bike video. I'm joking, these videos don't do very well, but that's okay. I like to uh, record anyway, and one day it'll uh, be appealing to whoever, whoever, somebody might be looking and going, oh, I want to fix up an old dirt bike and let's watch some shitty videos, and that's where I come in. Uh, today's video is once again sponsored by Sleeman Original uh, Beer, because they're nice and give me a free shirt in the case, which to me... That's basically a sponsorship. So, uh, we got a couple of things going on here. Just get you guys up to speed. One, uh, back wheel is off. I bought new tires and then went to put the tires on and realized that I was actually missing a couple of spokes on this wheel. So, I was like, fuck. I don't want to bother putting on the wheel missing spokes. So, I ended up ordering spokes. I should have them in hopefully tomorrow, but... If not, maybe early next week, $82 or something for a set of spokes, which is some bullshit because I only needed two, but whatever. Um, so then I got to thinking there were some things I wasn't happy with on the bike that the previous owner did. Nothing against him, like everyone does their own style or whatever. So I'm going to show you here, get some of this dirt off. Um, I bought some stuff. So if I go like that. Anyway, this is the turn signal, and it's very, very dim. Like, you can't even see it during the day. So I was like, I, I realize in the garage it, it looks pretty bright, but on the road, I don't believe that that's very uh, visible. So I went ahead and bought a bunch of shit. Let's look at what we bought. So first of all, we bought a new handlebar, blue, uh, because there's currently a red one on there. And the red's cool. But it doesn't really match the blue bike. So bought a a blue one and it comes, uh, you know, Pro Taper, which is probably knockoff, but I don't really know. But it doesn't say Pro Taper on the Amazon ad, but when it gets here, like they're blurred out. When it get here, it has it though, so that's cool. Either way, I don't really give a shit. So that was like 70 bucks and it comes with the pad, the Pro Taper pad, the clamps and the grips which this is for the uh throttle side of course and then over here i bought four new uh turn signals uh so obviously a set goes here and then on the rear as well so we're going to go ahead and get those sorted because i need to get the bike through safety which you know here in ontario canada that's required um, we picked up the chain guard. I wasn't positive if this was part of the safety or not, but the current one on here was broken. It's missing a part. So, um, I decided to get this and I got to, hopefully I can make it work out. I think I'm going to have to like remove the current system right there. And I believe I have to like drill through and put like, you know, uh, a bolt with a washer and shit. So, I don't actually have that today. It did come with some hardware though, so maybe everything's in it. Um, but ultimately I wanted to stick with the blue because the bike's blue. So we got that. Um, what else we got? The uh, I gotta try to get this shit done because the quad is actually going. I sold the quad. The guy's coming to pick it up tomorrow or supposed to be. So we got here a throttle. I think I was explaining before that this throttle is messed up. Like when you turn it, it sticks, which is probably not good on a uh, on a dirt bike or a motorcycle rather. So I still got to figure out exactly how I'm getting that on there, but I'm sure I can figure it out. I also ordered, but they won't be in until next week. Uh, new brake levers. The, this one here is fine, um, except that it was missing a nut underneath right here. And then this one, as hard as I try, I cannot get the brake to prime up enough to be functional. So uh, anyway, I ordered a nice set of blue ones um, and hopefully I'll have better luck with them. And then Kind of sucks because I just put this kill switch on. It's not actually wired in yet, but it's um, 
it's red. I ordered the fucking red one because of the red handlebar, not knowing I was going to buy the blue. So it is what it is. Um, although maybe red for stop anyway, so maybe it's not all that bad. But what else we got going on? I think that's about it. You can see why I was changing the tires. They have like weather cracks in them and very low, low tread. So this would never pass the safety. Um, and then I've still got a couple more things I got to do. The, uh, the engine is not perfectly lined up with this engine mount here. So this one only has, it's got a bolt there, I think. Maybe not. Might, yeah, it does have one right there. But it's missing this one and this one. So I need to get that sorted. This looks like it may be bent. So if that's the case, I've just got to give it a little bit of a bend and push it up. It's quite possible when they were moving the engine around that uh, this just got pushed back and has to come forward. So no big deal. I can take care of that. Uh, the horn works. I ordered a new uh, pet cock right there. It's very important that you uh, have a good pet cock. And then uh, also, I ordered the new carburetor that should be here tomorrow. Now it is going to be a you know a Chinese knockoff. I can't say for quality if it's going to be worth shit. It was only forty bucks, um, but I figured we would give it a go. Also, when watching my video back, I made a video last week or whatever with taking the carburetor off and redoing it, I realized from the video that up in here, I believe I actually folded the spring when I put this cover back on. So something I have to keep in mind, and we're changing the carburetor because of, not really because it's dirty, I don't care about that, I could do a carb rebuild kit, but because this is broken, and I don't think that's necessarily safe. Like this is glued on and it is holding, but imagine ripping down the road and this breaks off and you lose all throttle or worse, it gets somehow stuck in the open position. So I figured that we better not even fuck with that and just replace it. Also bought a motorcycle stand from uh, Princess Auto for like 60 bucks and it's okay. It's okay. The bike is a little bit, I don't know, a little big for it or something because it doesn't lifted up high enough um so i don't know what the deal is with that but not a big deal i just throw a strap on it so it doesn't tip over and yeah let me get my camera set up and let's get to work all right so i think we're going to start by taking these mirrors off um i'm not actually i haven't decided yet whether i'm going to reuse them um there's nothing wrong with them i just uh yeah, I just probably don't I don't know, they're not really dirt bike mirrors, so I'm going to set them aside for now. I have not bought new ones yet, though, so it's hard to, it's hard to say exactly what I'm going to do or what to go with. But I could always use them for now and then wait until I find something I really like. And then we got this doohickey here, which is not actually even connected and it's or it's connected but it's just sitting here so now the new carburetor actually has this built in this is like a I don't know it says it's like a warm start lever so basically if the bike's hard to start oh, we're gonna have to pull this off here if the bike's hard to start, it says that you pull that lever if it's hot. So I got to get these grips off because that has to slide off for now. But yeah, the new handle is a dirt bike handle that actually has that so built in, which is kind of cool. So I don't have to have a secondary handle on that side. These fuckers are on there. And yeah, I actually had took a look at that throttle and I got it working a bit better, but it wasn't good enough. Not where I'm going to risk my life or safety or any of the other shit 
to save, you know, 40 bucks or some shit. So, there we go. This is almost off. And this says Geico on it. I think basically, just like the other one I got, like it's got Fox and whatever on it. I think they just put a bunch of fucking brand names on it and just. It does what it does, I guess. I don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, I'm going to hit the phone. And I'm recording on my phone. I've got my DJI Osmo Action, which is pretty awesome. But, then i got to put the footage on my phone, or on my computer. Which is just a pain in the ass. So... I really haven't been bothering with it. I think I'm just going to use it for probably more or less just off-roading because obviously that's where it shines. So Pull these off. And I think I'm going to end up having a nice collection of parts. Let me move you guys over so you can see better what I'm doing here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and Move this, which apparently was only in with one screw. Just like a lot of shit. I'm finding a, a lot of parts on this are not... Fuck, I can't do it with that. I gotta get a different screwdriver. I thought it was stuck. There we go. Let's try this one. But yeah, a lot of screws and shit were missing. So I got... Maybe it was a star. Yeah, I don't know. It might just be a slide it over the handlebar for now kind of one, but I don't know if I can get that far enough to come over the edge. Probably not. The screw is all stripped. Unless we try a green, Robbie. few tools that's actually in my garage in its proper spot because I don't, I'm not good at putting shit away to be honest with you I don't think that screws a turn can't say I'm surprised so Yeah, I'll have to do something else and then deal with that later. Let's take off our official pro taper shit. When I say official, like I said, it's probably all knockoff shit. But I don't really care. Alright. Let's go ahead and take off the switch that I put on. Which... I don't know if I mentioned on the last video, people online were complaining, sorry if I'm blocking the camera there, they're complaining that it doesn't come with a, uh, what you call it, a, a backer. But they're not realizing that your fucking brake lever is your backer. They're like, oh, it didn't come with a, a back bracket, like the back half. And nowhere on the description does it say it does or show that it does. It shows you this part and this part alone. So some people just got to learn to read the ad before buying. Yeah, it just comes like that. And the idea is that you put it there and now you have a kill switch. So this goes on to the parts pile. Then, what do we got? We got throttle. Those screws are good. We know that because I've already had this apart. So that's a plus at least. Just like that. I don't think I had to actually take it all the way off. Just loosen it. Just like that. Just for now. And so what happens though is when you loosen it, it works fine. But when you tighten it, something with the inside. So I tried fingering the hole and lubing it up. 
like this best I could, but didn't seem to help, so it's okay. We will figure that out. So tighten the screw so it doesn't fall apart on me. And this is a nice handlebar. Nothing wrong with it other than the color, so hopefully it's easy to get off. I've never taken one of these off. Guess we'll find out. We're gonna find out together, folks. Let's have a sip of beer and find some Allen keys. Oh, on the other bike. I fixed up the uh, the little red bike that had the broken shock I was talking about in another video. The shock snapped. Just, you know, Chinese piece of shit, whatever. Um, so I went and I bought another shock, like an Amazon shock. And the fucking thing is no good. Um, there we go, that's the one. Yeah, the shock is not strong enough. For me, like if I sit my fat ass on it, it uh, I'm really not that fat. I'm 6'2 and 200 and like 217 pounds. But uh, anyway, it it bottoms out. It doesn't support it, so that's no good. Now I gotta fucking get another one and. That was like a $40 shock. They've got other ones for that look a little beefier for like a hundred bucks. So we may have to go to hundred dollar town on that. Not a big deal, but right, go ahead and get these off. Yeah, so this says Fox something or other as well. But um yeah, I don't know. I think my guess is that when they blurred out Pro Taper, that meant that it was some bullshit. And that's okay. That doesn't bother me. Fuck, I really hope these come off easy, though. See, this is my fear. I gotta pull all these parts off here, first of all, without dropping it everywhere. Okay, one... Come on, whore. Oh. Uh -oh. There it goes. Okay. Put that into the parts pile, which is the MG. Okay, now how these come off. Oh, maybe from underneath. But I think they just unscrew. That's my inclination but I don't like it turns that's my guess is there's like a nut in here or whatever a bolt yeah it's threaded so that's good they are on there I don't know if you perhaps Cross threaded it or something. Hope not. Can't really tell. May have to get some big pliers going, maybe. More. It's actually sharp edges trying to squeeze it, so. But it'll all be worth it to have matching blue components. Ow, you fucking cunt. Um, let me see. What do I have here? Um, not much. I got my riding gloves. Just because it's, you know what I mean, just like chaining shit. The threads are tight. I don't really want to scratch it. Sorry, guys, I keep kicking the fucking 
Shit, I'm going to break my phone one of these days. It's going to fall off, but it is what it is. It's already broken. So, let's try it first of all, just before I try any tools and shit. No. So, we're going to get... We're going to get physical on this. And it doesn't really matter if this gets scratched anyway because it's like under the handlebar and the pad. The maxi pad covers it. And let's, let's see what we can do here. Obviously we're going to scratch it a little bit. but. Maxi pads are for though for protection. Okay. That's about coming off. Yeah. Yeah, the threads in this thing are all chewed up, but the threads, I don't know. I guess they're probably, maybe they're still okay. It's probably just because it's like, I don't know, something shit or something, maybe. There's one. Oh, this one's coming off a lot better. Okay. That's good. And I don't know much about these parts, but I don't know, I don't know if that's how that goes or what. It, like, Let's see, there's a part there that looks like it's not sitting very flat. Now the previous owner did kind of just, I think he threw the bike back together kind of quickly like he was working on it and then bought a new bike. So it's maybe not quite the best put back ever he wasn't at that point he was just getting rid of it right so for 1500 bucks I don't know maybe it's okay seems like it's just a spacer or something but, right. let's go ahead and check out the new one So, so that. Uh oh, maybe I have to use the red ones because I don't really understand how that goes on. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to use part of the red ones, son of a bitch. After I just took that off, so. The top is similar, but the bottom of these is like that, and that is like that. So that's not going to work. I don't know if these holes are even going to line up or not. Yeah, the holes look like they'll line up, so I can still have blue, blue tops, but yeah, I'm going to have to fucking put this shit back on unfortunately that sucks I didn't really want to do that oh wait which one was this this was the front one or whatever this one hopefully it goes on easier than it came off probably and I don't know how safe Amazon shit is for Motorcycles. I'm gonna bet it's not regarded as high quality and safety, but sometimes in life you just gotta gamble. There's no better time to gamble than that's with your life on a motorcycle. You know what I mean, living on the edge, like Steven Tyler said. I think that was in the. Aerosmith song. 
you got to secure the, oops, well, whatever that was, fell. that's okay though. Come on, whore. I always find that swearing and calling your stuff names, like whore, cunt, or bitch, or fucking fuckhead, whatever, it just, it helps with the job at hand. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, I gotta bring this in all the way because it's... Let me loosen it off a bit. Sucks I'm scratching the fuck out of it. But... I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention to what bike the handlebars were for, to be honest with you. Because I didn't know they had different shit, like different bolts or something. I just thought it was all universal. I think I just got straightened it now and I'm pretty well at the bottom. So. That should be it. Right there. Yeah, so fuck it, scratch that. Now, with that being scratched, I think it goes without saying that, uh, I don't even know what the fuck's that is. Oh, that's the kill switch. That's the old one I gotta change up. It does work though. Um, so the same goes without saying. Well, I guess now it does actually go without saying, so. Let's see, I gotta see if I actually have these straight. Grab our official pro taper bar. Take this shit off. The maxi pad. And let's see. That hopefully fits in there. I think it's gonna fit in that one. This one just got a continue turning just a slight bit. I can use the blue clamp. If not, like the red's not terrible. It's not, not like it's fucking ending my life or some shit having red clamps on it. But I came with some more screws or Allen keys, whatever. But, let's see, where did, where did that Allen key I was using go? Where did we put that? there. Yep. We're going to go ahead and pull this apart and hope for the best. If you guys have uh, ever fixed up an old bike or whatever, like I'm going to guess anyone that's watching this must have some interest in, in motorcycles or dirt bikes or something. So feel free to uh, throw in the comments what bike you've been fixing up if you've got one. Um, also, if you want, you can share your link because I would like to check it out. But let's see if I can uh, that go like that. No, that's the wrong side. It's the other side that I gotta use. So hopefully, hopefully it fits. Maybe, maybe not. I really thought that these were all just the same. You fucking bitch. Yeah. We'll see. If this isn't going to work, I'll totally put the red on. It doesn't bother me. It's just... Although it looks like it's going to... So that's good. Um, yeah, I gotta, we're just going to snug it down a bit. We're not going to totally tighten it and like we're looking up some of the motorcycle law like various safety laws they have for shit and 
they've got laws for everything like on how much your handlebars can stick out how high they can be and like how many millimeters above the surface of the tank or some shit and they really like to uh put the rules down that's for sure so i'm just taking off the other one here Probably could have fast forward through all this shit, but where would the fun in that be? I don't know. I sit and I watch, I'll tell you right now, I sit and watch like people working on their cars and like fucking some of the videos I watch are like two hours long. You know, just sit back and drink beer or whatever, eat popcorn and uh, watch what's going on. If you got nothing else to do, why not, right? So now we want to go uh, this way. Just from what I can think, anyway. I'm really excited to have this bike, actually. Like, so mentioned in a previous video, yeah, I used to have. Oh, yeah. Fucking fuck. I gotta watch my monetization. I'm not swearing quite within the limits of that. But, um. So anyway, yeah, I sit and I watch people's videos for fucking hours. I like watching watch junkyard digs. They're pretty cool. Um, and budget builds is another one I watch. And oh fuck, I got this other guy I watch too. I don't remember the name of his channel, but he's a couple of them with like old Porsches that they're doing. Um, I hope this one snugs down. It's not fitting in quite as nice as the first one. Oh yeah, it's going in. Just gotta snug. I gotta see the what angle I want my handlebars on. I think something like that. And yeah. yeah, it's got like little numbers here for whatever reason. I don't really care about all that. I just Set it to the degree that I like it. And I can always come back and adjust it later if it needs it. But, oh, I don't know what I was saying earlier though. I was talking about the safety of Amazon bullshit for when you're uh, riding a motorcycle. And yeah, Amazon's motto Chinese shit is the best shit. Now we've learned a lesson, though, that if you fuck, you see what you guys did? You fucked me up because I was technically supposed to take this off and slide that on the handlebar before fucking installing that. Son of a bitch. Um, it's okay. You want maybe with it off now? Maybe I can fucking kerfuckle with it and get it off. But you guys distracted me and nobody even said anything. Nope. What is this from? Is this from the gauges or something? Shit, I don't want to take this off. Fucking fuck. I'm gonna have to, guys. I'm sorry. Listen, I'll pause it so you guys don't have to watch. I gotta take this off and fucking put that on. Okay, so I did all that fucking around, and then I managed just to use a pair of vice grips, and, oh, I lost that screw, and pull this apart, or not pull it apart, undo that screw. So, yeah, now I just saw it was all a waste of time. Um... So that bitch goes to go right there, but I'm just going to put a screw in it to hold it right now, the one that was in it, and I'm not going to tighten it because I want to find matching screws, so I'm just going to take this to the hardware store, and yeah, I'd rather, like all this shit works, the turn signals and lights and all that, so I don't need, uh, you know, I don't need to buy a whole new switch or anything like that, but it'd be good just to get the proper, some nice good screws in it. 
instead of having chewed up shit. And it is like a, a machine screw or whatever, so it's a, a proper screw. And yeah, see that's loose. Probably because I pulled it apart. Yeah, the backside's not tight at all, so it's okay. It's just to hold it for now. And this, like I said, we're not putting that back on. So we got the throttle assembly. Which, hopefully this fits on here okay. I don't even know how it goes. I'm thinking like that. And I'm going to fit this handlebar or are we going to get the same shit as the other one? Where the handlebar is just too thick. Let me move you guys so you can see what's going on here. But yeah, it looks like it may be some of the same shit. Let's see, maybe, yeah, the handlebar, and I read this in the comments, someone's like, oh, I had to sand the, they had to use sandpaper and sand down that to make it fit. Um, that's unfortunate, but... It is what it is, I suppose. I don't know what I have to sand it with me right now. Probably nothing. I do have my truck, but it's raining and I don't want to go through all my tools in the truck in the rain. So let's just, I'm taking this apart off camera here and just trying to take the screws out. So I can try. I got to where it sits. Shit, it's a problem where I won't lose it. Whatever. Let's just see how close we are to fitting. So it's close. Yeah, that spreads on and off. Um, yeah, it's just it's too tight. That's what she said. I don't know. Um, okay, let's get rid of these. Which we'll know we the red ones there. I'm going to set these blue shits on my visor on the MG. So, okay, we may have to hold off on the throw because I agree, it's just the paint. The paint is thick, causing it to rub on that. And uh, it's probably the exact same thing on the other one because the paint is pretty thick probably. And this is designed to go just on a, you know, a chromed bar. Um, so I just got to measure it. And I think basically use some like 80 grit sandpaper. Sand the fuck out of it. So that's okay. I will leave that for the time being. And... Let's go ahead and look at doing um, right here, car out front. Um, let's look at the turn signal, see if we can figure that out. So my guess is that this ignition here, let's pull this off first of all. We got this bullshit screw in here. Not the right screw. It's sticking way out. Or if it is the right screw, it's just not in all the way, I guess. And then I got a bunch of wires here that are off. The guy was working on doing the turn signals, but never finished. So. has a real hodgepodge of uh, tids and bits on it. So we're going to go ahead and take this off, which is okay because it had to come off for figuring out that wiring anyway. But at least this is in good condition. So some of these parts can be tricky to find for some stuff, right? So. 
But now we got all these wires, and we have no idea what they're for. Um, uh, I do have the manual, which is good. So, yeah, because fuck, I have no idea. Some of these, but this one has a wire twisted around it. And so does that one. I have a manual. I don't know if it covers wiring or not. I guess it probably does. Um, I downloaded it online. So, and then this has got no bolts in it. So I can't say I'm surprised. That's the theme here is no bolts. Oh, and that's probably just to rewind the, yeah, that's. To zero out the trip odometer. Okay, we got white, white, orange, like you know, orange and brown. They don't go together. So, got this black one that's hiding in here. Oh, it's a double. So, I wonder. I don't know if we're going to fucking figure this out. Is there even a fuse on this thing? Who knows? Let's go. Let's turn that like that. And lights. Oh. Yeah, okay, just making sure I didn't fuck with my lights. Um, okay. So, we got green and blue. But I'm going to bet one of them goes to this black um, nope okay so it wasn't that so let's I was looking for one of them to this is way better than just actually doing it proper right Our signal still on. And this is what I was looking for. Oh, I think that might be it. That's it. Okay. So that gives us that right there. Sorry, you guys couldn't even see what the fuck I'm doing, but ultimately, okay. So, that is that black and that orange. I'm going to tuck those up so I remember which ones it was. And then, I guess that goes in here. And, yeah, it's good to have a little safety first, I suppose. Oops. I'm a safety girl. Actually, I've been identifying as a lamp lately. So that should go in there just like that. And we still have to figure out the other one. Let's hope it... Basically, I'm hoping I can do it without shorting shit out. That's the main thing. Like, without fucking up my wiring because obviously that's a real possibility when you're stabbing in the dark like that on wires but like why use an electrical tester when you can just tap the wires together right so. yeah, these are nice turn signals I'm not going to say they're crazy bright but they're definitely brighter than the other ones They definitely, I don't know, I didn't really run a proper comparison, but I believe they are. And I really, I just wanted to get the proper original ones, but then I was like, to get the proper original ones, like I would have to get them off eBay or something. 
it's like with shipping because they're coming from the states there was none in canada apparently it's going to be like over a hundred bucks and i don't want to pay a hundred bucks for a couple of turn signals that are worth you know five or ten bucks at a swap meet beautiful let's pull that bullshit off and see if we can remember which wires I think it was this black and that orange well if that's what I thought I thought of or I thought wrong I'm gonna try reversing those didn't I say it was black and my wires fell I thought I said orange. Apparently not, because I ain't doing shit. Nope. There we go. Oh, those are nice and bright. Nothing wrong with that at all. Now this bike does not get. Um, so uh, what do I go? Oh, if I go lights, do we get parking lights on this or no? Nope. No, no parking lights. But yeah, okay. These guys get a good review on that. That's actually really bright. Looks good. It allows a little bit of play. It said they were flexible. So that's what made me actually really go for this set. Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay. So now we need to just turn the bike off for a second need to get the wiring figured out for the other front I'm not gonna try to make this video go crazy long all fucking night I'm just trying to at least accomplish something on the video well we got the I got the handlebar on I'm not saying I love the clamp fit because it doesn't quite fit perfectly and it might be like it's possible that this handlebar is thicker than the other one or you know there's always also the possibility just fucking Amazon shit just doesn't come with any real quality assurances of proper fitment. It doesn't perfectly fit between the clamps. So it's not a big deal. I don't think that's going to come flying off unannounced on the road. Like, I mean, if it loosened off... I'm pretty sure there'd be a little bit of advance warning, such as a little rattle or a shake or something. So that's not a big deal. And then one day, if this video ever helps somebody that's watching and they're like, oh, I couldn't figure out my lights, that would be cool. Because now you just got to find out which wires it is. And then those mirrors that I've got, they've got turn signals in them. So I could wire those up as well. But I don't know that I want to. I'm thinking I'm just going to get a plain dirt bike set. Those are like all like plasticky and shit. And I don't think they're going to hold up against trail wear so much which like was the main point of this bike I'm gonna it's gonna be obviously street legal where I can ride down the road whenever I want but the main thing was that I wanted to be able to hit the trail that's good like that fuck those are nice looking lights um did I drop that I'll, I will try to put a link in the uh, description in case anyone's looking so I'm gonna start with this green one because it matches how this one was shielded um, so I'm gonna try putting the orange one in there and then yeah first try 
Oops. I've actually got to seal these up all proper like. But, oh, fuck you, you fucking bitch. Alright, I'm gonna. I've got shrink wrap and shit. Or heat shrink. So we can actually seal these up proper. I just wanted to uh, figure them out. So that's the wiring all figured out. Yeah. That one's still aimed up a little bit much. Those are nice fucking lights. I don't care who you are. I don't mind those at all. Hopefully they last. I don't even know. It's Amazon. Who knows? Like if they're going to be fucking waterproof and shit. But I mean for the look of them. I got nothing bad to say. So let me. Uh, let me secure these wires. And I'll put the cover back on. And then we're going to move over to the. Uh, to the rear. Yep. I like it. All right, guys, so I actually, um, I got the one side connected on the back. Um, I got the, I, I went ahead and just installed them, save you guys the trouble. Um, but the, the, whatever, the right side of the bike is not working. And I don't really know why. Uh, so I'm going to have to pull the seat off to, to check it. This one works good, though. So I checked, there's no power. Um... But it could be like, you know, wire off under the seat because that's actually spliced in under there. So overall, I'm happy, uh, but it's kind of late. I don't really want to, I got to work in the morning and shit, so I don't want to be out here all night doing this. Um, but I'm really happy with how the, the lights work. They seem pretty good. Got no, uh, no issues for that for like 20 bucks a set or whatever. So it was like 40 bucks for the four. And uh, yeah, that's, I don't think you can ask for much more than that. And yeah, then tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow night or Saturday or something, I'll get back to the build. Maybe I will show you guys about changing a tire. In case you ever wondered about doing a tire, I had to buy uh, tire spoons to do it. Bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not that bad. And then, uh, we'll see, my rim is so dirty. It's actually a nice room when it's all clean, but it is what it is. I still got lots of stuff to do, so this is an ongoing project that will be ongoing for a while, so... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and if you've actually listened to my bullshit and rambling all this time, I'd appreciate if you would give me a like, and if you haven't already, you know, the spiel, fucking subscribe and all that shit, but if not, whatever, tell your mama I said hello. Let me see. As a matter of fact, if you subscribe, I'll take your mom out on a date. I made that up. I'm not really going to take her out. Mom's a hope. Let's see. How does that go on there? Just like that. Sorry, I just was I was just curious how well that was gonna fit on there. And yeah. Basically that's like my airbag. You know what I mean? That's my my safety mechanism. So I think our pro taper shazami goes on here. Whatever, I can't really do it with one hand, but you get the idea, and so that's cool. I didn't really want the red in the bar so much. I would have rather it all be blue, but this was just the one I, saw, I found. So it's not terrible having a little splash of color, I guess, but especially I've got the red spokes on the, on the wheels, but I'm not sure that I'm going to leave those anyway. But we'll figure it all out. I do like the grips, though. They're cool, and that's like actually all into... The material like it's not like a print um so that's kind of cool but that'll wrap it up guys thanks for watching and i will see you on the next adventure peace